Today, search and rescue operations are underway as buildings in Turkey continue to crumble. The magnitude 7.8 earthquake struck around 4 a.m. local time and immediately took thousands of lives. The shaking and streetlights bursting caught on CCTV. There have been hundreds of aftershocks, including a magnitude 7.5 Tembler hours later. While rescue workers hunt for survivors, seismologists are poring over the data and trying to learn from it. Today's quakes were centered around southern Turkey and northern Syria, with the shaking felt as far away as Beirut, Jerusalem and Gaza. Today we spoke with USGS earthquake scientists about the scale of the latest quake and what lessons we should take from it. At a magnitude 7.8, the source of shaking is actually sort of the entire fault line. And that the fault rupture in this case was something like 200 kilometers or more long. The scientists say there are two sides of the fault moving sideways in Turkey, known as a strike-slip fault, similar to the San Andreas Fault here in the Bay Area, and a reminder that we could see a quake of a similar size. In fact, they say this tremor looks similar to the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, which sparked fires and leveled much of the city. The geographic settings are, are fairly different, but the tectonic setting is quite similar. In that situation, the fault was actually 400 kilometers long. You know, we think of it as the San Francisco earthquake, but Santa Rosa was directly on top of it as well. And, you know, the fault extended all the way up to, to Cape Mendocino. So it, when that earthquake repeats, we're going to see many, many more people right on top of it. But there's one major difference between the Bay Area and Turkey that means we'd likely fare a lot better if a similar quake hit today. Advances in our building codes over the century will generally keep a lot of people safer than they would be otherwise. Elliot adds the images of the destruction should serve as a reminder to prepare an emergency kit and plan here at home. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.